All right, is everybody ready for some artwork? Let's go. We're gonna add a background we've already created. When you have all the assets you need, just go ahead and add them. Don't, don't redo them. I used to do that. I always felt like I needed to be pure and redo stuff. That's a dumb idea. So here's our background. I'm gonna just add this in here. Look how pretty that is already, guys. So we're gonna blur that background to about this. See that? So we've got this. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna create a image. Man on his knees. Oh, that's not good to Google. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get a silhouette of a man proposing just so we can get an idea of scale here. So what I like to do is just bring in images from Google. Actually, not Google. I use Ecosia. I'm one of those weird people who doesn't like Google. So here's our man on his knees to get an idea of some scale, okay? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have this butt. We're gonna have, it's not really a butt. <laughs> Guys, this is gonna look really weird and it's intentional. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it's not, but there's this bouncy ball or this bouncy thing in the game. We're gonna draw it. I am unashamed of drawing giant butts. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get our grass brush here. Just do this. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, Thomas, very nice. Got some grass. The drawings, the paint soles, the paper. Very good, Tom. There we go, that's that's the color we want. Nice and shiny and red. There's a jelly boss. Here it is, let's drag him in and use him as a reference. This is what we're gonna be drawing. So the way it's gonna look is we're gonna have two, like this. We're gonna, we're gonna bring in some serious shineability. It's not a butt, it's a monster, but it looks like a butt. We're gonna do a close up of his hand grazing this fleshy thingy and then we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna show him on top and he's gonna be smiling at the player he's a little big isn't he this grass is a little bit too big here we go we take this a uh, circle and we take this color yes fill it in my mother effer see that convert that to a small object yes and we only want a, a few of them because we only want them for consistency. I don't actually think they, they don't make this any more creepy. And we're trying to go for those creepy vibes. And for some reason, pimples, they're not creepy. They're just gross, but they're not creepy. Smooth, clean flesh, that's what creeps me out. All we're doing is lip service. That's what these pimples are. We're just saying, hey, it looks like the monster. Um, Is there anything we can add in the background to make this a little bit more relevant? Ooh. We got some bushes we could put in the background. See this? Look, we could put one here and here. Look, see see how the scene is sort of creating this oval shape? And then you just drag them down to the behind the grass. Look at that. Now, Thomas says, that doesn't match. Well, the reason why is we gotta blend a little bit. Just a tiny little blur. See that? Look at that. <gasps> wow. Very nice. Again, the pimples are just lip service. We're trying to match what it looks like when you interact with it in the actual game. Now guys, what this is, is this is the boss of the game. This is gonna impress you all, watch this. Okay, so the light is coming from this direction, so if we wanted to create a butt-like slice, flip that, and then on this side, it's a shadow. Merge them together, set them to overlay, and you have yourself a nice crack. Whoa, that's a little... <laughs> okay, let's do this. There we go, you want it to follow the edge there. And then just select. Make a selection, select. Scale, mask, invert. Hey, looking good. That inner shadow is a problem now. In addition, the shine is causing a problem as well. I like that a lot better. This looks great. You wanna achieve some of that moody evening light? Watch this. Create some shadows. Don't be afraid to make shadows, my friends. Merge these layers together, and then on top of them, you create a reflection of, of what's in front or what's behind of it. Shadows occur, shadows occur in three. Two, one, shadows placed. And let's just draw some more over here. Don't worry guys, when you when you have blur at your disposal, things can look kind of crappy. See, look, pretty sweet. And why don't we just add a little bit of a darkness here? You want to contrast between that yellow and that green. Very nice, yes. I like it a lot. Very nice. I like it a lot. Very nice. Very very nice. Now guys, it looks a little too happy, doesn't it? Everything's too happy right now. We don't want things to be happy. So what do we do? Well, we bring in mist and we bring in darkness and shadow. So let's do this. Let's add a shadow on this here to sort of separate the foreground. And actually just while I'm at it, let's just make this black 
see how we're creating some like some almost rainbow effects of black and yellow and green blur that now one of the big problems is you also want this to sort of blend into it a little bit more so notice how we're getting things to look a little bit dark a little bit more moody that is my forte isn't it we can get rid of these pimps <laughs> We don't want any of those pimps. Okay, let's add some mist. Because guys, notice how there's not a clear distinction between this grass and the bushes. Bloop. And we'll, we'll also uh, give it a little bit more white. Zero out the motion blur so that it's sort of going across the screen. See that? Look at that. And I think we have room now to add a little bit more darkness to this foreground. Because we've, we've gone so dark in the midground, we could probably choke it out a little bit here. There we go. See, I told you. We have a little bit more room. For some darkness here and I'm not done with the butt shape yet we're gonna actually do something pretty cool to make it look a little bit more 3d hey let's add a spooky tree to the background you guys want to do that yeah this grass is too big do you guys see how much color was sucked out just because we removed that yellow let's do it one more time we're gonna add in that yellow that vibrancy but we got to remember this is a pretty big object and what that grass was doing the previous grass that we just deleted it made it look like a small object so we're gonna make it look like a bigger object by doing this there we go look at that now it looks like a pretty big object. It's crazy how just removing one color can suck the life out of a picture. Guys, we're trying to increase and enhance that creepy vibe. This is supposed to be one of the creepiest scenes in the game. All we want to do is duplicate out these trees in here, just like this. See how we're framing in the shot? We're making it sort of, sort of round and point to the center object. I love things in the center of a scene. It's one of my favorite things to do. So pine trees here, pine trees there. And notice how we're having some confliction here. And here, all you gotta do with that is pretend that there's mist, good, and then mist at the top. Look at that. And then one final thing is scale them down just a bit because it's a little too big. Bring these over here, look at that, and then we're gonna do a blur. Um, save it and then watch, guys. You wanna learn something cool? One of the spookiest things out there is um, when a storm is coming in. One of the ways to achieve a the appearance of a storm rolling in is to gradient down from the top or from the side. I like that, that looks cool. And then let's add a little pulse of light to the right. Not done yet, guys. Overlay. Look at that. You like that spooky vibe? I do. We're almost done with this stupid foreground grass. It's, it's causing me some problems and I don't know why. I've got some issues here. Does it need to be black? Is that the problem, Tom? No, no, we're not gonna make it black. That actually feels pretty good right there. Do we need to add some yellow to that background grass, maybe? We could get the color and still have this effect, this this effect of uh, elements getting darker. Yep, so this looks great. Let's merge all this down. Look at that, guys, we're adding some creepiness just by adding some moss up here at the top. Notice how it comes down on the edges? So we're creating an iris effect. There we go, Thomas wins again. And then we're gonna add Dr. Smile, a creepy doctor, sitting on top of this round fleshy thing. Okay, we forgot about the dead trees. Can we add it to the foreground? Maybe. See how, see how it looks a little bit creepier, guys? Watch this. We're gonna Gaussian blur it, because remember, they're in the foreground. There we go, something like this. And let's duplicate like four or five of them on top of each other because we have some opacity issues right there. Actually, it's a little too much, isn't it? I think I'm okay with it. When something's really sharp and blurry, it actually sort of fades out a little bit. So that's why we're going to add a little bit of that fade there. See that? Let's add Dr. Smile to the scene here. And we're going to open up the soundtrack to this game and we're going to listen to it while we work. How's that sound? So guys, this is a soundtrack to Once Upon a Coma. And this was written by myself. Save it. And yeah, we need some storm clouds up there. So watch this. Here's what we're gonna do. And this is also gonna add some texture to the areas that are feeling a little bit more flat. And then you're just gonna do a pulse of darkness coming down, just like that. We're gonna do a motion blur first. Y'all can tell I like motion blurs, yeah? And then we're gonna do a Gaussian blur. We're about to, just trust me, we're gonna add Dr. Smile, I promise. Man, those tree twigs are tree twigs those twigs are causing some problems so far everything looks pretty good here nothing crazy this it's the twigs man we're getting rid of them twigs are bothering me i'm okay with the way it looks now we can add some of that texture in the background though so let's do that guys we're just adding some slight depth here nothing crazy yeah there we go now we can add in dr smile 
the interesting thing about Dr. Smile is we already actually have art of him. So I feel like we could probably bring him in, at least his face. So let's just draw him. His cloak is going to be hanging down and his head will be in the center, but his body will sort of be coming towards the, to the left here. A lot of inspiration from Bram Stoker's Dracula. I just realized it. That's probably where the inspiration came from for this character. Oh, that looks awesome. That is so weird. <laughs> We're going to get a general shape of his head. It's going to be a white face. We need him to be able to be like sort of scratching something into the surface. That's the goal here. Hmm. Let's draw his arms really quick because I'm, I'm having trouble seeing this. Yeah, I think I think the arms need to dictate everything, honestly. So let's see here. Let's draw his hand too. Once you get the general shape down, then you can go in and smooth and add details and stuff. Never add details when you're unsure. Oh, good. He's kind of got an angled face, huh? Let's just add a little tiny nose. Mainly for me. I'm trying to figure out where his face is. Always think of something that can make your piece of artwork be really unique. Um, something that not just anyone could do. And so in, in my case, I like to make my character's finger super long. It's a general idea of what we want this to look like. We're going to clean that up significantly. His head's too big. Let's take this arm. Yes, make it thin. And we're going to use our gut here and delete that. We're going to have it come down like this, yeah. Give it some depth. Sweet. And that's going to go behind it. Yeah, it's almost like we're seeing his back. Ooh, that's weird looking. Man, I like it. All right, guys, this was fun. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you want to watch this live stream again, whenever you want, head on over to the brush club which is just patreon and support on patreon it would mean a lot to me and you can watch this video um in a private playlist i'll also be uploading um, some videos tonight thanks again guys this was fun <laughs>